Lloyd. Yeah. Who's your friend over there? Well, that's, uh... Lola Fontaine. I found her tenant bar when I came back from walking Leslie Ann to the car. Somebody had to. <laughs> so you just took over? Uh, I was supposed to meet this guy named Philip Spaulding here, but uh, he never showed. Excuse me. Yeah, that sounds like Philip. Oh, you know him? Yeah, I think uh, about everybody knows Philip around here. See, he knows the guy who owns this joint, and he was going to introduce me so that I could ask him for a job. But uh, obviously, this owner doesn't care enough to come around very much. <clears throat> Of all the rotten luck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do need a new barmaid now that Katie's gone. Well, you got yourself one right here. See, I just don't know how to get to the owner about it. Well, listen, don't worry about it. I happen to be on very good terms with the owner myself, yeah. and I wouldn't mind slipping in a good word for you, Lola. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Lola. You really mean that? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Yeah, um, yeah listen. All you have to do is come around tomorrow afternoon and ask for Tony Reardon. Right. Hey, you recognize him as soon as you come in because uh, <laughs> he looks a lot like Robert Redford. <laughs> yeah? Hey, this job might be more fun than I thought. That ain't the half of it. Well, listen, thanks a lot. And uh, would you tell this guy that I really need this job? Listen, I can practically guarantee you you'll get the job. Mr. Reardon likes women with initiative. Hmm. If there's one thing I got, it's that. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get you some more. Hey, which person got to do around here to get some service? Go to another bar. I'm sorry, but uh, the Galahads aren't welcome here. Says who? Says me. The boss gave strict orders that I'm not to serve any of you guys. Who weren't your lousy beer anyway? I'm just here because I got a message for Lou Jack. So deliver it. Tell him that this old lady wants to see him at the garage around 5. Lou Jack's probation officer has made that garage off limits. Just give Lou Jack a message. Sorry. No can Look, don't get cute with me. I might just have to mop up the floor with your stretch pants. <laughs> Say, listen, uh, I'm going to put some salt on the front walk before the crowd hits. It was pretty icy when I came in. Yeah, I think that's good. And since we don't have any customers, I'm going to take last night's receipts to the bank. Another good idea. Mm -hmm. special blend of vodka and tequila and champagne oh, no. with a dash of fruit no juice for help. Oh, 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 oh. Have some more. That is the understatement of the century and no thank you. I 
I really have to be going while I can Aww. still move. <laughs> Listen, honey, don't you uh, think it's about time you started getting dressed? Yeah. You know, this is one of the happiest days of my life. Boy, if anybody told me a year ago that I was going to be a bridesmaid in a formal church wedding. Oh, Annabelle. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate this. I'm so honored to be part of this wedding. Oh, Lola, I'm so honored to have you in my wedding. Do you know from the first day I ever set foot in company, I could count on you? And friends like that are real hard to come by. Yeah? Yeah. Well, as an old girlfriend of mine used to say, a little respect can earn a lot of friendship.